Good morning, fanatics. My name is Cyril Fanatic, and today we are going to be playing Ace Academy. Uh, I have no really big idea, no really idea how to, you know, what this game is going to be about. Um, I think it's basically a story-driven anime game, so it may not be for everybody, but I, I myself, I like anime. I have to say that this intro is pretty rocking. It's pretty good. Um... I was kind of bugging to it, you know? Does anybody say bugging anymore? Probably not. I'm, I'm, I'm retarded, right? Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this game. And, uh... Get into it! Gotta get my... Welcome to Ace Academy! Gotta get my, my suds on. Woo, suds! Hashtag not sponsored. Welcome to Ace Academy. Let's get a few things set up for you. Uh, for Dalian. That's my go-to name for a lot of things. Is there a button to hit enter? Oh, I hit enter! Enter, camera's over here! Uh, that's my go-to name, so Dalian. Typhus. Oh, typhus is a disease. Just deal with it, okay? Proceed as Dalian Typhus. <gasps> yes. Please select Dalian's main characteristic. Oh, it's like a... Oh shit, maybe a kind of a dating sim kind of thing. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's see. Okay, athletic. Speed and endurance come naturally to me, and I'm always looking for new ways to improve my strengths. I can hold my own in a fight and react quickly in tough situations. Intelligent. Knowledge is power. I excel in academic studies and can pick up new things quickly. Exams are a breeze, even with little to no studying. Intuitive. Do they look stressed? What's your body language like? What are they trying to say? I've always had an act for reading people and their emotions. Uh, I don't like the intelligent one. Just saying. The character, the persona Dalian, probably be between athletic and intuitive. Hmm. I'm going to go with. Uh, let's go with intuitive. Oh, uh, I guess I don't pick the picture. I just click, click the option. Okay, so I'm intuitive. Ooh, I'm a sh strategist. That's it. Good luck at Ace Academy. I mean, do I get uh, attention, passengers? Oh shit, it's voice acting. Yes. We will be arriving at our destination shortly. Please ensure you have all your belongings prior to exiting. Suck at least something. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 Nikki. I glanced at her sleeping form. She has. Uh, she was always a bit restless sleeper. I moved her hand back to her side. Not as gently as I could have done it. <laughs> Get off me! Uh, oh, we're almost there. She might as well wake up. She stirs and stretches with a wide yawn. Hitting me in the face again. <laughs> that one she must have done on purpose. Oh. Hey, bro. Oh, it's my sister. Looks like I dozed off. Whoops. And hit her harder. Uh, hey, bro. Oh, wait, she already voice acted. Burr. Uh, revenge! Uh, what is this sleep you speak of? I couldn't sleep. Why not? I'm pretty sure there was this bear sleeping near me. At least, that's what it sounded like. Her eyes grow wide. I snore. Honestly, I'm surprised it didn't wake you. I'm gonna try a different voice. Why not? Let's do that voice. You're joking, right? Do I really snore? How can such a small person make such a loud noise? Oh my god. I can never show my face in public again. Long rides are going to feel even longer if I can't nap. And having what if no sleepovers? Can I even get a boyfriend? I think she's definitely overreacting a little bit. I 
can't keep a straight face any longer and I burst out laughing. <laughs> nah, you're, you're fine, sis. Who was that strange guy behind us? Ah, you hit me! She hits me in the arm. That is not funny. I thought it was. I thought it was funny as hell. But I can see the smile threatening to escape her lips. The sun shines in my eyes, catching my attention. The sky blaze with deep reds and orange as the sun creeps towards its reflection on the glittering ocean. Uh, a soft breeze ripples the trees beyond the coast. The leaves seem to wave goodbye to us as we race past. Am I in focus? Doesn't it look like something out of a fairy tale? Ooh. Ooh. Let's change that a little bit. Oh, that's too far. Ah, ah, ah. Done. Okay. <coughs> Uh, yeah, sure. The smile on her lips, but her warm eyes search my own. After a moment, she looks down and slinks back into her chair. You know, you, you didn't have to come, too. You were already in your first year at CINY, and, well, you didn't have to come, too. Ah. Uh, oh, did we come because our sister went? Interesting. Great. Go back. I, back I go, then. That's what Big Brothers is for. Someone has to take care of you. Uh, I think Dalian would. Son of Dalian would definitely go to the Big Brothers. After everything that's happened, we're all we've got left. Oh, and our parents died? That's kind of sad, actually. I wouldn't be a very good big, big Brother if I let you move here alone. She sighs, but a smile plays out of her lips. How did I know you were going to say something like that? Because I'm the greatest big brother ever. Yeah. Don't ask my actual little brother, sir. Isokaze Station. Please stand clear of the doors. Isokaze! Oh, that's our stop. Come on. As we exit the train, I'm bombarded with a cacophony of noise. As we, uh, as a businessman walks briskly past, walking, start talking sternly on his phone, while a nearby mother tries in vain to soothe her screaming child. Uh, screaming children. At restaurants, those are the worst. Let me tell you. Uh, a group of older women sneak quick glances at us and whisper among themselves. Every so often, they burst into laughter. What are you laughing about, old hags? Nikki. Eagerly steps off the train and breathes on the cool air. <sighs> That's more like it. Yeah, I guess it could have been pretty stuffy in that train. Uh, she glances back at me and puts her hand on her lips. Hurry up, slowpoke! Rude. Struggling with the weight of both our lug- yeah, Definitely rude! I stumble off the train. His <laughs> suitcases fall on, gracefully beside me, onto the platform. It's a good thing there's nothing fragile in here. Offering to carry both of our bags no longer seems like such a good idea. Okay, maybe not as rude. I kind of put myself in this position, I'll be honest. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Wonderful. Take a moment to stretch my burning limbs. You see Uncle Kaito yet? Mm -hmm. Not yet. When were we supposed to meet him? 6.30-ish. Looks like he's running late. Probably traffic. After a few minutes of scanning, a familiar face appears out of the crowd. Whoa, Uncle, Uncle Kaito. Kaito! You a tall dude! Uncle Kaito. Uh, his face splits in a wide grin. Oh, it Here come Wu Japan! <laughs> oh, Lord. I guess English is not his first language. Uh, of course, it's not Japan. Obviously, duh. Uh, Nikki giggles at Kaito's English. Hello, my name is Nikki. Hello! <laughs> that be messed up! <laughs> uh, Uncle Kaito speaks fluent English. I spoke to you two hours ago. You don't talk like that. Kaito <laughs> shoots me an image grin. Gone, foiled again. Oh, she's hungry. Girls, am I right? I'm always hungry. A loud grumble interrupts us. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm going to cry to roars with laughter. Let's get some food in you. 
I like his voice. He has a nice, nice voice. I like it. Dot, dot, dot. Welcome home. I mean, it's not really welcome home if it's not our home. <laughs> but I'll let that slide. Whoa. What is with this setup? Uh, is this a half wall? Is that stairs? Do they go up somewhere? Is that a bookshelf? You know, off brand books with no titles. Uh, some vases. Funky looking lamps hanging from the ceiling. It's a very basic background for your computer. Uh, the place is the opposite of the cozy yet cramped apartment I expected. Instead, I feel like I've walked. I've just walked into the cover of a home decor magazine. That, yeah, I can see that. You guys hungry? Dinner should be here soon. Pizza? Sweet. What are we having? Well, I figured it'd be good to expose uh, you to some bummer. food. Bummer. I want pizza. <laughs> it's Japan. Never mind. What happened? Well, it could be pizza place in Japan. Uh, true Japanese cuisine, which is sushi, of course. 100% bona fide Nikkei Zushi Tomaki Zushi. I'm not gonna try and say that first word. Damn it, I hate raw fish. Sushi. Mm. He winks at me. Don't worry, kiddo. Not everything is sashimi. Trust me, you'll love it. I'm still not convinced. <laughs> By the way, your things came in a few days ago. I put them in your rooms. Why don't you two go upstairs and start unpacking while I get dinner? Ready? If our thing's already here, then what was the luggage I was carrying, game? What? How much crap did we have? Sounds good. Mickey nods and we head upstairs together. The hallway upstairs is narrower than the one back home, but Kaito's house is not small. Nikki heads into the first room on the right. My room, uh, my room is right beside hers, and Kaito's is further down the hall. Even with all the boxes laying around, lying around, I'm surprised by how spacious my room is. It might even be larger than my dorm room at the CINY. I head over to the wall and sit on the edge of my bed. Thank goodness Kato had the bed made before we arrived. I guess I'm tired and I hit the hit the sack, right? I head over to the wall and sit on the edge of my bed. Thank goodness Kaito had uh, What? Uh, it has dialogue and then it asks more dialogue. I kinda wish you would just skip to the next one because it's kinda throwing me off. Uh, I don't remember which box holds my linens. Uh maybe it's this one? Pull the nearest box towards me and rip open that top. Just goes in here. Might as well start putting some of this away, though. Just into the box where Kato's voice echoes from downstairs. Hey, guys, food's here. He's a loud voice. Impressed. After dinner. <laughs> I'm stuffed. Om nom nom! Gotta pick the num num guys. Gotta pick the num num. I eagerly reach for more, even after both Nikki and Kato have put down their chopsticks. I'm a hungry boy! Are you sure you don't like sushi? Wow, he's really wolfing it down. Are we hungry? Where's the last piece and stifle a burp? So, what did you think? It's okay. <laughs> Kato sees right through my attempt to play it cool and smiles with triumph. Kato leans back in his chair, resting his hands behind his head. So, what was the INY like? The usual. Exams, a messy dorm room, a part-time job. And you still managed to save enough money to buy yourself a bike. True. I could have bought it sooner, but maintaining a gear... Ooh, I thought gear. Wasn't such... Uh, wasn't such money sink. If mo maintaining a gear was such money sink. Oh, you're still using your original gear? Yep. Is it giving you trouble? You should probably replace it if it needs that many fixes. Everyone says that, but when I think about it, all the time I, all the time I spent with Dad, I'm not ready to put those memories aside, especially now that they can never be replaced. Oof. Besides, Dad was great at what he did. I know there's still plenty of fight left in that mech. Ooh, mechs! I guess, but Dad and I worked on it together. 
a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into it, and I'm not quite ready to give up on all that hard work. It's true. Especially that one time when Butterfingers here dropped the torch. Remember that? There was a lot of blood. Uh, I drop it and hit somebody in the head with blood? Because if it burns, it wouldn't really necessarily bleed. Nikki! She smiles sweetly at me. What? I'm just backing you up, big bro. No, you're not. You're throwing me under the bus. Uncle Kato laughs. I understand. It should be arriving at the academy any day now. All you'll have to do is present the proper ID to claim. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Uncle Kato jumps to his feet and grabs something off of a nearby table. He returns with a pocket of papers, which he hands to Nikki. Here are your transfer papers. They're already filled out, and all the docs you need are in there. All you have to do is hand this to the headmaster first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Thanks, Uncle. Here. He hands each of us a SIM card. Put these SIM cards into your phones. I've already added credit to them to start you off. Oh, he gave us money! I like this dude more and more, guys. He's a nice dude. And you took care of your transfer stuff? I not. Ooh, the camera card. Great. It's great. I pop the new SIM card on my phone. After a moment of waiting, the, moment the phone boots up to an empty contact list. Quickly, I change the number with Nikki and Uncle Kaito. I can add the rest of my old contacts Don't hesitate later. to call me if you need anything. We won't. The conversation lulls into silence. Hey, Nikki, I think I should probably unpack a bit before the jet lag takes over. Good idea. All right. Don't stay up too late, though. We both have a long day ahead of you tomorrow. We excuse ourselves from the table and head upstairs. Oh. Alright, time to unpack. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I managed to put most of my things away before I'm interrupted. You done unpacking yet? Whoa! Buddy! PJs! Nikki seems tense, although a small smile on her lips, her brows are furrowed and worried. Just about. What about you? Almost. But hey, what do you think about this whole uniform thing? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Ah, uh, I guess our old schools didn't have uniforms. She sits uncomfortably from one foot to the other. It'd be like one of my Japanese animes! Are you kidding? It'll be great. Just think of all those girls in short skirts. <laughs> On those perfectly timed updrafts, a really cute, colorful p I'm about to get it, yep. <laughs> Ow! For such a small girl, she said she sure packs a punch. Nikki size. You're hopeless. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. What kind of uniform do you have to wear anyway? I mean, mine's normal, but keep going to Ace Oh, Academy. I guess we're going to different academies. That would make sense. She seems... Well, I don't know. She's maybe quite a bit younger than me, so... Makes sense. I shrug. The dress code says something about distinguishing students in the pilot program from the rest of the student body. The pilots wear teal markings to indicate their program. Ooh, that sounds good. You transfer directly into their pilot program, right? Yep. I heard that program's hard to get into, but I never doubted you. I hope they're ready for you because you're going to kick butt. Thanks, sis. Oh, she's very supportive. I like that. The clock on my nightstand flashes 11 p.m. I think it's time to go to bed. What? Already? I gently heard her out of the room like, Get! Go! Get out! Now! Get out! <laughs> it's not that late. Come on. You don't want to be falling asleep in class, do you? She pouts, and I'm worried she'll continue to argue, but she just mumbles something incoherent and turns towards her room. Good night. Night. I went to my, return to my mess of boxes and try to organize them into something resembling a neat pile. Ooh, organize an S. Ooh, this is not American made. As I reach for the last box, a picture frame falls to the ground with a loud clatter. The heart tightens in my chest as I snatch it up and inspect it for any fractures. Luckily, it's unharmed. Oh, look, there's me! I don't think I'm recording my mouse, which is unfortunate. I need to do some of that. 
Look! Oh, my dad is one handsome man. Ow! All right. Uh, I run that finger over a smiling face. It's me, Nikki, Mom, Dad. We were at the fair. Nikki wanted to ride the roller coaster. Um, I remember Mom and I had just argued over something stupid before the picture was taken, but you'd never be able to tell from this photo. Mom always looks so poised and together. I placed the frame beside my computer, trying to ignore the lump in my throat. What happened to our parents? Hmm. I lay on my bed and closed my eyes, but my thoughts refused to quiet. Much of my exhaustion takes up when I fall asleep among the tangle of questions of what ifs running through my mind. Oof. Hey, it's the intro song. What? Saw sunlight filter through my window, warming my cheek. This melody of bird song is nearly drowned out by the annoying blare of my alarm. I roll away from the window and see 7 a.m. flash on my clock. That can't be right, can it? Yes, it can. Time to get up. I set off my alarm. I've never been a morning person, but I actually don't feel as tired as I normally would. I'm even feeling kind of energized. I turn off the alarm. Uh, da, da, da. Jet lag works in mysterious ways, I guess. At least I won't be late for my first day. Oh, look at my room. It's looking spiffy. Spiffy. Pushes myself out, out of bed, I automatically begin my morning ritual. Without thinking, I grab my jeans and have them halfway up my legs before I notice the uniform slung over my chair. Crap. This will take time. This will take some getting used to. I slip off my pants and grab my uniform. I'll admit, as far as uniforms go, these aren't that bad. They're a little too flashy for my taste and all, uh, and not all, uh, not at all what I was expecting. But the cut is flattering, and the teal stripes look pretty cool. Uh, I face the mirror to fix my tie. Not could be better, but there hasn't been many opportunities in which I needed to wear a tie. Oh, time to learn. Uh, I face the mirror to fix my tie. Okay. Uh, I still look damn good, which is all that matters. I throw a quick check to make sure I have all my things. I head downstairs. Soon arrive in the kitchen, eager to begin my day. Waking up successfully at this hour feels kind of like a big accomplishment. Nikki stifles a yawn as she sits uh, sits down a plate of eggs and toast. Suddenly, I don't feel so uh, so accomplished. Did you make one for me too? Nope. <laughs> she blinks in surprise and takes a uh, moment for her to respond. As a matter of fact, I did. She grins and places another plate on the Look table. At you, big bro. Waking up bright and early. Oh, thank you. You're taking starting over to the next level. Hey, I try. Where is Uncle Kaito? He already left for work, so we'll have to lock up when we leave. Man, that dude works early. I nod and she sidles over me, wearing a playful look. A white shirt and plaid skirt. She does a uh, she does a little twirl and looks so? expectantly at me. What do you mean by so? I start blinkly at her. Uh, what? She rolls her eyes, but her views is still sickly sweet. Don't you notice anything different about me today? Hmm. Did she get a haircut? No. Dyed her hair? No. New style? Uh, maybe. Not sure. Should I go with that? Tap, tap, tap. Nikki taps her foot. Her smile faltering. I need to say something. Why, well, like what you did with your hair? No. Shoot, okay. What about her eyes? Kill the contacts. Nope, still amber. Um, ah! It's your ridiculous clothes! Oh no, I'm about to get hit. Nikki's eyes widen. She kind of looks like she got the wind knocked out of her. I'm right, aren't I? Ridiculous! Oh my god. Do I look just awful? Um, no, of course not. I mean, it's a weird choice, but if you're going for the. Naughty school girl thing look that you got it down. A weird choice. This is my uniform, you jerk. <laughs> That's I didn't that. choose to wear this. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. Uniforms. 
Like what I'm wearing now. I slipped on it all. Suddenly, my uniform doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> Did I say ridiculous? I mean, great. You look good. Oh, forget it. Finish your cold post. We're going to be late. We finished our meal in silence, with Nikki occasionally shooting hurried glances my way. I wolfed down my food and gathered my stuff, then Nikki meets Nikki by the door. My motorcycle, obviously. Oh, you don't need a permit then? I remember you were worrying about that. Permit? I completely forgot! <laughs> I'll need a parking permit for my bike, but they should have visitor parking which I can use if I can find a spot. So what should I do? Should I take my motorcycle anyway and hope for the best? Or should I take the bus today and take my bike so they got my permit? Let's play it safe. I don't want any parking tickets, so let's take the bus. You're right. I'll take the bus today. I need to sort out my parking situation before my bike. Uh, take my bike. Uh, Nikki nods. Which bus will you be taking? I don't know. The line that heads to the south of the south side of the city. Cheap out. Aww, I'm taking the one going west. That's not at, that's not at the same intersection, is it? No, I don't think so. Oh well, at least it'll help you get familiar with the city. Yeah, you're right. I'll see you later then. Have a good time at school, okay? She beams at me. Uh, cars went by as I approached the bus shelter. There were a few people waiting. I plunged my hands into my pockets and leaned against the shelter to wait. A sharp squeal of brakes announces the bus is a rifle. A few people trickle off the bus, and I fumble in my bag for my ID. As I enter, I tap my ID on the scanner, which responds with an affirmative beep. Without waiting for me to find a seat, the bus driver jerks to a start. The bus jerks to a start, nearly knocking me over. There aren't too many free seats available, so I stumble unsteadily towards the back of the bus. As I glance around, I notice that a majority of passengers are wearing Ace Academy uniforms. That's comforting, I suppose. The free seat beside a girl my age. Oh, hello, Blondie. I mean, Blondie. Red. She stares intently at the window and sits with her back uncomfortably straight. Her uniform lacks teal stripes. Oh, so maybe she's just a non ace pilot person? Her uniform. Uh, da, da, I guess she's not a pilot. She seems pretty cute. I wonder why there's an, there's an empty seat beside her. Maybe she's not that friendly? Eh. Let's take my chances. I fall ungracefully to the seat beside her. We sit in silence as I muster the courage to speak to her. Eventually, she shifts uncomfortably under my gaze and I clear my throat. Um, do you go to Ace Academy too? I mentally slap myself for choosing such an idiotic question. Obviously, she does. That's one of the first things I noticed. To my surprise, she smiles warmly at me. Yes, I do. So her name is Yuna. I like the name Yuna. Final Fantasy X. Yuna. Uh, Misaki. Yes, I do. She gestures on my uniform. You're in the pilot program? I heard it's very competitive and difficult to get into. Just needs hard work, let's be honest. Uh, I think anyone can make it as long as they try. She gives me a polite smile. Right, I didn't catch which program you're in, or your name for that matter. I'm Dalian Typhus. I'm Yuna, Yuna Misaki. I'm studying PHPT. I have no idea what that stands for. Neither does my character. PHPT. Pilot Health and Physiotherapy. Ah, crap, I'm becoming a guinea pig. Before I can ask anything else, the bus crashed to a stop. Ace Academy. Wow, that was not a long ride at all. I hop off the bus and Yuna follows suit. The roar of the departing bus does not dampen the student chatter. Uh, Yuna pulls out her phone and checks her schedule. Uh, I have to run, that's where her class is. So. I kind of want to say I have to run because I don't want to be late and I probably have no idea where I'm going. I should probably head to class. I don't want to get lost my first day. She nods and understands. Sure. I guess I'll see you around then. I hope so. It's a little, a little obvious, buddy. She waves goodbye before I lose her in the crowd of students. I check my phone and I notice I still have about an hour before class begins. Oops. 
should I actually head to class early or should I explore for a bit? I should take care of my parking permit. Turn the map on my phone, I slowly make my way towards the administrative building. Luckily, this campus is pretty easy to navigate because these buildings all look the same. I feel like they make it harder to navigate. Eventually, I pause before the administrative building. I confidently push open the doors and am greeted with a series of hallways. Of course, more navigating. But how, how very bureaucratic of them. Nice. After a few minutes of wrong turns and doubling back, I arrive at the door labeled Campus Administration. What would have been a spacious office is instead crowded with irritating students. Only one person manages the desk, and he does not look like someone who is particularly Next. accommodating. Next! <laughs> He's angry. Uh, the line crawls at a steady pace, and after what seems like forever, I finally walk up to the counter. Hi, I need a parking pass for a motorcycle. You'll have to fill out your request online, which you can access through your web link. Approval takes about one to two weeks, and if approved, a physical pass will be mailed to you. One to two seconds! Next! In seconds. Weeks! Dang! That's a long time! Hold on! My hands. I put my hand firmly on his desk. He scowls at Let's talk about this. There's another one of these moments where I wish I had gone and thought before speaking. He waits for me to finish, but then I see importance. Patience. Building in his eyes. It's now or never. I'm trying to be reasonable. Mm. I'm gonna flirt with him. Or maybe I should. No, I'm just kidding. I'm trying to be reasonable. Maybe my intu my intuitive my selection might be uh, helpful. I don't know. I guess we'll see. That's such a complicated process for something so simple. There must be an easier way. The man taps the desk with his finger. There isn't. If you haven't. It's just a bike pass. I don't have. He tries to look around me, but I block him. Come on! Hold this gaze, and I'm thinking about giving his expression nope. hardens. Next! Oh, that's right. Sorry, I saw him resignation. There is no getting through to him, so I turn around and start to head out. Boo! As I exit the administrative building, I check the time on my phone. 15 minutes left before my first class. I should start making my way there. Pull up the map of the campus on my phone. Luckily, the routes are easy to follow. I'm soon standing before the auditorium. Thank God for technology. <laughs> I take a deep breath, stealing my nerves. I firmly push open the door to the auditorium. After a quick scan of the room, I select a seat near the back. I can tell this is the first year introductory class based on how spread out the students are and how quiet the room is. I hate that I have to take intro classes again. Uh, some, of the, some of the electives from CINY do not encompass the full scope of course material, whatever that means. I hush blankets the auditorium as the man strides to the front of the room. Good morning. This is Piloting 101. Is everyone where you are supposed to be? The professor waits impatiently as a handful of students shuffle towards the nearest exit. Uh, I yawn and watch them leave with disinterest. He drags a web page from his tablet onto the screen behind This him. is the class web link. Consider this portal as your lifeline for the course. You will find all your assignments and readings here, as well as your current grade in the course. You can find my contact information in the tab marked Contact. My office hours are listed, so please do not hesitate to stop by. Even I get lonely at times, and I appreciate visitors. <laughs> I get lonely. Uh, the comic, that comic got a couple of weak chuckles from the room. He is thorough. I mean, technically he is. He's pretty thorough. Uh, most students don't pay attention to these introductions, but there is nothing. A professor dislikes more than a student who asks questions he's already answered. Now that we've gotten all the boring stuff out of the way, I'm sure you're all eager to learn more about the qualifier exams on Friday. Ah, we have exams Friday. The class visibly perks up. Like, oh, damn, oh no. The qualifier exam will not only register you as an active pilot, but will also provide you with your team ranking. I'm sure you've already picked out your teams by now, but I'd still- I'm new! I don't have a team! Each team must have a minimum of four people in order to qualify. That's not good. A hand shoots up in the middle of the room. Yes? Are you sure exams are this Friday? That only gives us two days to find a team. 
Soft snickers fill the room. The student visibly, the student visibly shrinks from all the eyes now focused on him. Man, poor guy. The majority of students who began their first year here at Ace Academy are aware of the timeline for the qualifier exams and use their summers to form a team and prepare. In the past, we had extended the preparation time before the exam, but found that the majority of students did not need nor want the extra days, so we adjusted our schedules accordingly. Oh, screw those students. But what about those of us who didn't know about the qualifier ahead of time? What do we do? I suggest you get to work finding yourself a team. Any other questions? Student scowl the shakes his head. Good. The qualifier exam will pit your team's starting core against four AI gears. You would then be assigned a ranking based upon your overall performance relative to the other teams. Don't worry if you can't defeat all the AI gears. They are programmed to be extremely difficult to beat. Hmm. Please ensure your gear is in pristine condition for battle. All exams are demonstrated live instead of in a simulator to most accurately gauge ability. Any questions? He's answered with silence. Let's get started then. Well, he likes everybody not saying anything. Please check the web link for your assignment and have them complete for the next class. Welcome to Ace Academy. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. I found our chair scrape along the floor as the students fall out of class. Those who remain chat animatedly in small groups. Yawning, I wait for the crowd in front of the door to thin before I make my way out of the room. Once I'm by the door, a snippet of a nearby conversation catches my attention. Hey, did you see what they brought into the hangar today? Yeah, that ancient looking thing? <laughs> I'll be amazed if it still works. Who the hell do You're you talking about my Meg, like probably. I bet they fished it out of the ocean. I have a sick feeling I know what they're talking about. Feeling. Feeling. Uh, as I hurry out of the classroom, I check my phone because I didn't see an email notification. I equally read through with the email. It's just a note letting me know my gear has been registered and I now have access to the hangar. Well, that obviously that certainly makes things easy for me. I see and why I spent days going through the registration process. We had to submit all the paperwork ourselves, and of course, nobody in the administrative office was ever helpful. Satisfied, I put away my phone and make my way to the hangar. I pick up the map of my phone and touch the hangar, which lights up. Soon, pulsating lights dot the path from my current location to the hangar. A bit of a trek away from the heart of the campus, but I make good time. I scan my ID and walk in. For a long hallway, which leads to a grand space filled with towering gears. Every one of them is sleek, refined, and updated with the latest model of accessories and weapons. They weren't kidding when they said Japan was the leader in mecha technology. I walk past... Uh, several rows of gear until my well, here's mine. I reunited with Eagle. Oh, my mic's name is Eagle. Interesting. A crowd of students surrounded. They speak in hushed tones and break into snickers when they notice me. I push my way towards them, but they disperse before I even reach them. Most of them are trying to hide their laughter and feeling miserably. Give my gear a detailed inspection to make sure it didn't, didn't suffer any dings or damages during the transit. So far, so good. My gear may be a bit bulkier than others, but it's in great working condition, which ultimately is what matters. The colors are still bright, too. I wonder if they polished it for me, or if it always looked that good. The other guys might laugh at your gear, but I sense that it's different. Spirit. Spirit? Something that makes it stand out amongst the others. Yes. Show. I can feel shoe. this one is truly special indeed. I don't know what I should call him. Is it shoe or show? Somebody answer me. Um. I'll call him show for now. Uh, I hadn't noticed this student beside me. His arms folded, and he's nodding with closed eyes as he's as if he's trying to say something truly deep and meaningful. Uh, Damn right, it's something special. I'm glad at least someone here knows a good gear when he sees one. I also fold my arms and nod. I'm tempted to ask him to repeat himself so I can record those words of wisdom. Damn yeah, right! I think the other guys are just scared. Uh, do you need something? Oh, right. Oh, right. He seems almost surprised as if he forgotten why he came. He missed it so much, I wonder if he's the nervous. Show. Show. Show Never mind. Don't ask me. Pleased to meet you. his name. Shinjiru. Thrust his hand out in greeting, grinning from ear to ear. 
I cautiously shake his hand. Um, hi, I'm a Dalian Typhus. You're a second year pilot too, right? Yeah, how did you... Not that many students transfer during second year, you know? You're the talk of the pilot's lounge. A mysterious foreign transfer student. That would explain the interest around my gear. I guess I didn't quite live up to their expectations. I'm not sure what they were expecting, though. And I deduced that you are this transfer student. You deduced correctly, my man. I don't know what gave me away. I couldn't possibly, it couldn't possibly my magnificent golden locks. I've gotta say, I thought you'd be taller. Fudge you. He starts comparing our height to this hand and is a bit disappointed to find we're about the same height. Again, just what is he expecting? We don't all look like... <laughs> we don't all look like Ciornato Delaprio. I think his perception of... Oh, I'm from America! Woo! Uh, from America is a bit skewed. Anyway, you're new here, which means you're not part of a team yet, right? Yep. Right. That's been on my mind since class I did. I'm not. Almost certain I know what he's about to say next. Well, it just so happens that my team is lacking that oh-so-vital fourth member we need to be able to compete. He looks at me hopefully, then leaves in close. A little too close. Personal space, man! You see where <clears throat> I'm going with this, don't you? Basically what I'm saying is, you should join my team because we're awesome. I kind of see what my options are. One of the songs I'd like to check out other teams before committing to any of them. For a second, he almost looks heartbroken, but that is quickly replaced by his usual That's cool. I understand. No. I'm glad he's taking it so well. I was worried he wouldn't leave me alone until Most I Most of the them. other pilots generally hang out in the pilot's lounge. If anyone's looking for more team members, you'll find them there. Thanks. I'll see you around. For sure. Good luck, Brosif. Brosif. Just remember, we're always here if you change your mind. Fair enough. We wave goodbye before heading our separate ways. So, the best bet for now is to head to the pilot's lounge. I'm pretty sure we're gonna wind up being his team anyways. I pull up the campus map again. A small red light pulsates when I try to locate the pilot's lounge. I'm about to head to the exit when I spot a group of pilots heading the opposite direction. Hmm, maybe they need another team member. They are a good distance in front of me, so I'll also keep up and follow them through a winding tunnel. I'm pretty sure this is how people get murdered. Eventually, the group disappears through the door in which leads to the pilot's lounge. Huh. Good to know. I mean, I would, I would hope the thing leads to that. Grab the handle and push my way inside. Whoa. Shiny. Uh, groups of students fill the lounge, all of them wearing similar striped teal uniforms. I take a few steps and pause, trying to decide what how to handle the situation. I'm a smooth operator. Uh... Uh, I don't know. I'm a smooth operator. I'm into it. Let's do this. But I'm a most charming smile and glance around the room looking for an appropriate target. I kiss the eyes. Oh, no. A pretty girl across the lounge and stride towards her. Hi, I'm Delia. Before she can answer, a tall guy steps towards us and looks at me What colder. did you? Such a I was hoping to learn the name of this lovely lady. She blinks a surprise and tries to hide the, gro the growing blush in her cheeks. She becomes even more flushed by her response. She doesn't want to know yours. Are you huh? sure about that? Did you ask her? Well, no. Then how do you know she thinks she's curious about me as I am about her? Oh, I skipped that. My bad. As I said, before we are really interrupted, I'm Dalian, and you are... Mitsuki. Oh, okay. Guy's face is a bright red as he stuffs between us and turns towards Why her. would you tell this asshole your name? Just like this... Uh, not selfish boyfriend, a uh, jealous boyfriend. I can tell my name to anyone I want. But this guy? No way! He's a bit protective, ain't he? I back away as a couple continue to argue. Oh, boyfriend, yep, yeah, alright. Even if they have an opening on their team, it probably wouldn't work out. Yeah, I can see that. I catch her gazing at me from the corner of my eye as her boyfriend continues to lecture her. Heh, <laughs> still got it. As I search for another team, I spot a group of giggling girls watching me intensely. Bullseye. I head towards them. Hello, ladies. One of them smiles. Having some trouble? Meet never, but I guess not everyone appreciates my charm. Maybe you just aren't very good at picking these things, you. I know, I certainly think so now. Hey! I grin. Oh, yeah? 
Why is that? You look just like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah. Wait, which one's Leonardo DiCaprio? You know, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. He was in Jomi and Rubia. <laughs> Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I guess he does look like him. Oh, good lord. Glad I've got you got that established. Who are you anyway? I'm a transfer student from CINY. You're from the same Yeah, I just transferred to the second year pilot program. Little girl's nudges a friend. She lives in close and whispers something and tries to hide her smile. Is it? He's from the States. So? So, remember that old gear in the hangar? It came from oh, the I'm States. Get, get mech blocked. Is that gear yours? Uh, maybe? Hmm. I didn't realize America was so far behind Japan when it comes to gear. My smile melts away. Uh, it's always worked fine for me. My gear is important to me. Does everyone think it's junk? The team was willing to have you join them. No one? Yes. That's what I'm looking for. Well, good luck. I don't think any team will take you on with gear like that. What a prude! Rude! She and the rest of her friends turned away from me, and I'm left awkwardly standing at their back. I guess my gear is everyone's first impression of me. Should I see if Sho will take me, or just head home and try again tomorrow? Maybe Sho will give me another chance. No other options. I look around the launch for show. He mentioned the team needed another member. Hopefully that's still the case. So you say with two girls the opposite end of the room. One girl with bright red hair stands to the side and talks quickly on her phone. Uh, the other girl with dark hair shuffles feet will show chats and will meet two towards her. Hey, show. Hey, Brosip. What's up? Just wondering if your offer was still open. Join? Hell yeah. No luck finding another team? Nope. You were right about it being tough. Cool. Well, here's the rest of the team. Figured this much. Hey! I like the black haired chick. The bright haired chick just looks angry. Uh, he gestures towards the dark haired girl who stares at her feet while the redhead continues chatting on her phone. And she's ignoring me. Great. <coughs> Show him a uh, motion towards the dark haired girl. This is Mayu. She's the coolest person on this team. But, uh, don't tell Kelly I said that. He glances at the redhead, who isn't paying the slightest bit of attention to it, so that's Kayori. Mayu blushes deeply. That's not true. Aw, oh, that was nice. It's nice to meet you, Mayu. I'm Delia. I smile at her and hold out my hand. She wrinkles with a brow in confusion, then gingerly shakes my hand and continues to shake it. Um. Sorry! Oh! Got a, uh. Not a tsundere. I want to say the dairy dairy, but I don't remember. She immediately drops my hand and returns her turns her gaze to the floor. The show turns towards the redhead. Hey, quit being rude. Thank you. Her gaze shifts to him and her and his smile falters. Uh, I mean, will you be done soon? I'd like you to meet someone. She frowns. I need to call you back. So uh, this is Cowrie. Cowrie. Once over, they crosses our arms and brush over our chest. A pilot? Not just any pilot, but a pilot who's willing to join my team. Your team? Her eyes narrow at show and he shrinks back. Then where's the super strength? I mean, our, our team. team. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Wow, she gets my god drop a bitch. She turns back towards me. Hmm. I suppose you'll do. Not like we really have a choice or anything. You'll do too. Let's practice. Kyle and Shu change a look. Whew, you're dedicated. Well, fall fire's only two days away, so we need to practice as soon as possible. Kyle crushes arms, but her lips twitch at the side of says she's happy with my demand to practice. Oh, she's uh, kind of like me in the distance of working hard. Hmm. Anyway, welcome to the team, bro. Thanks. So, you're probably wondering why we need another member. Actually, I hadn't. But now that you've mentioned it, 
Yeah, kind of. Basically, Kauri and I were part of this super awesome team, but then they stopped being awesome, so we left. Wow, Sho. For once, you didn't ramble. He feigns offense. <sighs> you wound me. All my stories are brief. Remember when I told you about my one birthday where everyone showed up wearing the same clothes as me? He turns to me. Actually, it's a pretty good story. So basically, Here he I grew up in this kind of... Mayu knows what I'm talking about. Don't encourage him. Mayu smiles faintly. Anyway, the point is, we used to be on a team, but left because the team was turning into something we didn't agree with. Except Mayu. She's a first year. Oh, we got a freshman! Fishy fishy! Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she got a whole bunch of invites to other teams, but decided to join us. We're pretty lucky to have her. Oh, cool! How come you chose this team? My, you shit uncomfortably under my glaze. Just glaze. Show. Gla glaze? Gaze. Wow, words! I trust show. Oh, she has a thing for show? I look for her to say more, but she doesn't. Kyrie taps her foot impatiently. So, now that you know all that, are you in? They're a little strange in our way, but I think I can learn to get along with them. Even Kyori. Yeah, I'm in. Great! Kyori touched her phone. I spent too much time talking to you, and I need to get home. What is her hurry? It's a short wave she has. We should out. get going, too. Fair enough. My you not. Yeah, me, me too. We'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, see you. We have goodbye and go our separate ways. Da, da, da. I'm going. Uh, let's see if there's a save function. Can I save? Oh, I can right now. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Stay tuned for more videos of this and more videos of Shuttle Run Returns. I'm going to be doing a bunch of them and posting them when I can. Um, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you feel so humble, you can subscribe as well. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.